Alright everyone, it's time to start Rennie's mission. You have been a bad boy. Uh, Louder! You have been a bad girl. Oh! Uh. Oh, give it a rest, Rennie! I went to film school. I am an expert in everything. I love bullying people. I'm perfect. So why do I have to spend my time whipping you? For the art. Oh, you're so very bourgeois. Sweet, but so, so average. Go. It's over. You're fired. But Rennie. But Rennie, but Rennie. Rennie, you are fantastic, and I am so very mediocre. No. Go. Oh. <laughs> Darling, you are here to lighten my heart. Uh, not exactly. I love you. I love this man. Kiss me. Hey, hey, give me a break. I'll break you if you break me. I can't deal with this. Oh, darling, please. I need your help. It's a friend of mine, Gonzalez. <laughs> He's got to move a shitload of coke. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> Alright, so the meeting point is pretty much the same place where Lance was kidnapped and taken on the boat and as hostage. And that was the mission Leap and Bound where we had to rescue him on the container ship. Nobody will be kidnapped this time. And this meeting will go to plan. Mostly. Are you Gonzalez? Ah, you must be Victor. Hey, senor, I need to get my colonel's merchandise safely to Vice Port. Your colonel? You're in the army? Not your army. Colonel Juan Garcia Cortez is my boss. I'll bear that in mind. Take my copter. My men will join you. So we just enter the Sea Sparrow, and then we'll be protecting him by air. And we got two guys that will sit on the sides of the chopper. They'll help you out. They'll probably do most of the work. And enemies will spawn. They will try and take out Gonzalez and his boat. So we're going to protect them. And you can use the gun that is mounted on the Sea Sparrow if you'd like. Help them out. But mostly the guys will do the job. So we are going past Starfish Island and already we're nearly there at the point, the destination. And well, the damage meter of Gonzalez is not even much. We're already here, so so all you need to do is just pilot the Sea Sparrow, let the 
guys do the work for you. But eventually, they will try and attack by air. So they'll send in a chopper, which means you're going to have to earn your keep. Use the mounted gun on the sea sparrow to easily take them out. Uh, that will appear once you get past the leap and bound container ship that is ahead of us. About that point, they'll send in the chopper. So the chopper has now been sent in, so we're going to go take it out once it gets close enough. And beware, they do also have gunmen, but <laughs> it's so easy with a mounted gun. And that's literally it, I think. The chopper is the only thing that you need to take care of, and the Gonzalez men will just do the work for you. So, not much to this mission, you just escort this guy, and it'll take at least 5 minutes anyway, it doesn't matter, it's an easy mission. Oh, what? I've played this mission many times and I've never encountered that. Hopefully, he can get to the lockup in time. And there we go. Cutscene. And there we go. He's entering the lockup. I've lost many good men today. Men I cannot afford to lose if I am to protect my colonel's interests in the deal ahead. If you need a bodyguard, you can do a lot worse than me. For the right price, of course. Maybe so, but I can't trust anyone until I've discovered who leaked our arrival to those puta bandits. Strange ending to that mission, but yeah. Even though the chopper was destroyed, mission was passed. Gonzalez made it, and I served my purpose well. So we'll find some transport. If not from traffic, there is a vehicle that spawns near Phil's place here. I think is Perennial or Walton. Either will do. Well, since it's the end of the mission, it's the end of the video as well. So that's really it. For the mission, not much to it. Protect them, just pilot the helicopter, and you'll pass the mission. So, we're gonna go to the next Rennie mission. I'll see you at the movie studio in the next one. See ya.